How do we contact the alumni of a school? Let's say if I want to study abroad and I have to speak to some people except my bhaiya, bhabi, parents, family, friends, teachers, who do you think would provide the real value or information? I think it would be the alumni or current students who are studying there. So of course you can find the schools on internet, look at their reviews and read reviews about uh, you know the school, the program. This is one way. The second way is obviously going to the website of the school, choosing the program that you want to study. And for example, if I click on international business, you have all the details but if you go at the bottom you'll be able to see the reviews of the people who studied there so for example if i click on uh, you know guru prasad so i would be able to read his review but again if you want to have a personal conversation if you want to speak to those people if you do not just want to read but speak to them on whatsapp maybe on a video call maybe have more personalized approach what you should do is basically go on linkedin so LinkedIn is a huge platform, now how do you use it? The best way to find alumni would be go on search tab. By the way, this is my LinkedIn profile. So if you wanna contact me, just look for my name and connect. Now, if I want to contact Kedge Isli students, I would just write Kedge Isli. Now what is Kedge? Kedge is this business school, Isli is a program. Now here there are so many results you see 1503 results are there now how do you contact the people that you want to speak to of course you can just write casually and you have people from france people from uh, india people from different regions but so for example this girl shweta bhaskar sounds indian kushagra pals i mean these names sound indian so i can probably speak to these two or bishak banerji but if we click on all filters we would be able to have a whole list of people as per our criteria for example if i want to speak to people who are in my first second third degree connection now of course if you are trying to speak to alumni they would be either in second or third now first is basically people who are connected to you second is people who are connected to your first connections and third are basically the ones that you have no connection with then you need to choose the location for example if i write new delhi and I only want to speak to people or probably find people or meet people who are based in New Delhi, I'll write New Delhi. I'll choose other things, for example, current company, if I write Catch Business School, well, it would not be a current company because Catch Business School is not a company, plus it's not based in India. I mean, we have an office, but we don't have the institution in India. So I wouldn't select this. If you want to speak to people, let's say we're working for Louis Vuitton in New Delhi, then you can do that. Past companies, of course, you can do that industries if i want to choose logistics and supply chain i can do that if you want to see what languages do they speak of course there's a filter but again if you want to speak to somebody who's indian it doesn't really matter school we have already selected catch business school uh, and we want to look for catch easily this is why we wrote catch there and contact interest this is not really important here but again there are several filters given by linkedin to you but the best ones would be finding people by locations the industry and of course the school for example if you want to speak to people in the university of bordeaux you can select this neoma you can select this but i want to know about people who are from kedge or went to kedge are in logistics and supply chain and they are based in new delhi so i'll simply apply the filters now there is nobody who has all these three filtered criteria in their profile so what we can do is again i will clear all the three and i'd go to the filter section again and i just select new delhi now let's see if there are people in new delhi from catch esli and i'll click on apply voila i find one person whose name is adrian d he's in country support manager of course i can you know click on his profile but i'm not going to do that this is something uh, is completely prerogative to to and subject to individual uh, perspective so i'm not going to do that but if you want to contact adrian you can do but let's say if i want to see more alumni not just related to isli but catch so what i'm going to do is clear and of course i'm going to write here just catch business school and then there would be different filters of course you find people who are based in new delhi but this time it's not isli or supply chain i'm only going to find people who went to catch business school now i'll click on apply and see you have so many results of course they are not based in new delhi so 
what we do here is we select the because we selected France so I'm going to unselect France we will select New Delhi now New Delhi selected let's see how many people are there there are 118 people who went to get business school now there are 118 people around you in New Delhi and Siyah who you can speak to Abhishek, Antoine, Akshay, Kaltek, Ashish, Prabhat and of course most of them would be you know either, of course most of them are the people who are either studying or went to Kedge but some of them would definitely be exchange students as well for example if you see here Prabhat is from IMT Ghaziabad but went for summer school so if you want to know more about summer school speak to him if you do not want to know about summer school speak to somebody who went for a full-time program again you can apply the filters and you can choose their past school catch business school you can choose an interest when i study when i chose supply chain there was nobody so let's choose uh, maybe finance oh i'll write financial services here and let's see if there are people in new delhi i'm gonna write bangalore as well happen oh maybe it's Bangalore yes it's Bangalore and I'm gonna write Mumbai now let's see how many people are there in Mumbai Bangalore New Delhi from financial in financial services from Kedge business school well there are 42 people who went to Kedge and right now they're based in Mumbai Delhi or Bangalore area and they are alumni or you know people who went for the exchange programs and they went to Kedge now if you want to speak to somebody what you have to do is basically click on their names so i'm not going to click on these random names for example i mean i'm just going to give an example there is a friend of mine or probably you know uh, a colleague of mine who was in my school so i'm just going to write his name sort of checked up and when you open the profile so here you see first now first is basically that uh, first means that this profile is is my connection that means i don't add uh, need to add him as a friend he's already my friend on or my connection on LinkedIn on Facebook we call friends on LinkedIn we call connections now people who would be connected with Saura but not me would be in second degree and people who are neither connected to Saura nor me would be in third degree okay now if I want to speak to Saura I'll just simply click on message and I'll speak to him if he's not in my profile I'll give you an example well this time I have to do something which I don't want to do so let's say if we select this profile and this person is second degree connection of course there's some yeah no if I want to speak to this guy and this is a second degree connection so first of all either I can connect send a connect request or simply I can message sometimes uh, the message button may not show up so you have to connect but if this shows up you can simply write that you know my name is this 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 I am coming from this background I want to do the same program that you did or your friends did and I want to know more about that program can you help me please you have to be gentle you have to be subtle and you have to be very very humble when asking for their permission now obviously it depends on them if they want to share information but imagine if you went to a school and I want to know more about that school and if I contact you I'm sure that being a human being you are definitely gonna help me so this is how you can connect with alumni number one is obviously going to the website program choosing the alumni that you want to speak to and the second one is finding them on LinkedIn I hope this was clear if you want to see more videos related to how to find jobs how to learn the language how to apply to top schools with average profiles click on i button have a look there and enjoy the videos